Hi, my name is Strawberry Girl, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make these pencil pouches. So, they just open up like this, and you can store anything in them. And you can make a long one. One with a horizontal flap. And one without a flap at all. And you can either just make them with a see-through little pocket or it can't be see-through see at all. So you will need an X-Acto knife or blade, scissors, ID cards or little pieces of plastic, a ruler, some velcro and some duct tape. I'm going to be using ducky tape, electric blue, and clear tape, but clear tape is optional. And lastly, you will need a card. So let's get started. So my pouch today is going to be, so my pouch is going to be seven inches by four inches long with a two inch flap. So first I'm going to take my pattern duct tape and I'm gonna lay my tape. So it is seven inches by four inches long. optional step but now you could take your clear tape and um clear tape the seams okay so i just clear taped all of my seams and i'm just gonna leave this little piece so i can use it later and now i'm going to flip this sheet over and now I'm going to cover the back of it in my color of tape that I want. And I'm going to be choosing blue. And you don't need to leave any sticky around the edges, just cover it up in blue. And now get your clear tape and clear tape this inside part. This is optional. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my other piece that has the clear slot in it. So get your ID ready. And first we're going to get our blue tape this time or your solid color. And we're gonna lay one strip that is two inches shorter than your piece. This is seven in this one is seven inches, so I'm gonna make it five. So flip up. So I'm gonna peel this thing back a little and put this in the middle of the measurement. And you could trim it down if you want. Make sure it's lower by two inches because it's going to flip over so it's good and i'm going to center it and i'm going to put it down and i think that's a little too tall for me so i'm going to trim this piece of duct tape and then i'm going to Peel this back and stick my little ID plastic on.
make sure it's perfectly aligned. And when you've done that, get a, another piece of duct tape. Line it up about here. And this is going to be the other side of your little pouch. And then cut it. And now you're going to make one last little strip for the top of your pouch. So line it up the same as you did right here. Okay, so I'm going to cut it, and since I didn't make it aligned with my 4 inch mark, I'm just going to trim it off, like that, and this is the front of our little pouch, and now I'm going to clear tape that, so this is just a leftover piece of my clear tape. And make sure you get the clear tape on the ID thing too. So now that you clear taped all of your seams on this side, just flip this over. Okay, so just flip it over and grab your pattern tape. And do the exact same thing you did for the blue. And make sure that they are lined up. Okay, so to attach these two together, I cut out a strip that is as long as my biggest flat piece, which is 7 inches. And I cut out a piece that is the length of my flat piece. And these two lengths should be the same. So I cut out a piece of clear tape and I cut it into fourths. And one, and for two of them, I cut them out the same length as this. And for two of them, and for the other two, I cut out the same length as this. For your last piece of clear tape, just cut out a piece that is four inches long or the same length as your bottom. And then you're going to cut this piece into, you're going to cut a quarter of an inch off of this piece and this is just going to be in the inside of our pouch so you can just peel away the bottom three quarters of an inch and leave it aside so you should have three of three um uh, core four inch pieces of clear tape and two seven inch pieces so what you're going to do to these two pieces right here are cut it in half so we have a half here and a half here and now you're going to put well first you're going to line these two together and grab your four inch piece and lay this across and smooth it out. Okay, once you smoothed it out, just flip it like this. Make sure it's straight and grab one of your half to wait, half an inch pieces and Put a half on this side and make sure it's straight and half on the back <clears throat> and now do that again but this time do it to the top 
So this side should already have your solid color on it. And now you have to fold it onto your pattern color. Now we're going to get our long piece. Well, first you're going to do on the back. And then you're going to fold this part over. And then cut a slit where this ends. And then fold this over. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side. So this should be your back and this should be your front. And then when you fold it over, it should be perfect. And now we use our clear tape. So just take one of your long strips and put it on this side. And just clear tape every single trim spot until you covered them all. So you could just close it up and open it up and put anything in here. So you put pens, pencils, anything you want and it all fits. So make sure that if you want to fit your pencil in it that you measure your pencil so obviously this doesn't fit a pencil. This one could fit pencils because I made it long enough for that and these two can also fit pencils. But this one is just a mini one, just for the tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more duct tape crafts tutorials, please leave a like and comment to see more. I'll talk to you later. Bye.